His name is Lakhdar Boumediene. He may be best known for the Supreme Court case Boumediene versus Bush, in which the Supreme Court, Court ruled that detainees have the right to challenge the reason that they are being detained. A Republican-appointed judge ordered him released last November, saying there was not enough credible evidence to hold him, and he's now a free man, and his story is quite troubling. After what he describes as a seven-and-a-half-year-long nightmare, Lakhdar Boumediene is now a free man. In 2001, he, his wife, and two daughters lived in Sarajevo, Bosnia. He worked for a charity helping orphans and others in need. But five weeks after 9-11, Boumediene was arrested by Bosnian police and charged with conspiring to blow up the U.S. and British embassies, a charge he calls false and ludicrous. They searched my car, my office, nothing, my cell phone, nothing, nothing, nothing. Never, never, I, never, I... I think about this stuff. The Bosnia courts were about to free Boumediene when in January 2002, the U.S. military shackled him and flew him to Guantanamo Bay. He thought the U.S. would clear him. Maybe one week, two weeks, they know I am innocent, I, I come back to, 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 to my home. But in Guantanamo, Boumediene says he was kept awake for 16 days straight and repeatedly physically abused. Do you think that you were tortured? I don't think. I'm sure. You think this is not torture? What's this? What you can call this? He went on a hunger strike and was force-fed. When you were there, did you want to die? No. I don't like to die because uh, every day I, I think about my wife and my daughters. But last year, Boumediene's attorneys beat the Bush administration in the Supreme Court for the right to challenge his detention in court. And a judge appointed by Bush then ruled the evidence against Boumediene was weak, and he ordered his release. Two court victories against President Bush. Boumediene made a t-shirt. And last month, he was reunited with his family. He asked us not to film them for security reasons. I just, I cry. Just, I cry, because I don't know, my daughters. Boumediene says he understands how the 9-11 attacks prompted strong reactions from the U.S., but only to a degree. I will agree with you, with you, but for one month, two months, but not for uh, more than seven years. Boumediene says he holds no ill will towards the American people except for President Bush, Vice President Cheney, and three other Bush administration officials. He and his lawyer are now considering suing the U.S. government. They say he is a poor man and needs help. As for those charges against the U.S. military that he alleged that he was tortured, the U.S. military says they take all such claims seriously and it is not policy of the U.S. government to torture detainees.